Have you been asked to perform a wedding ceremony in New Jersey? Congratulations! Being asked to perform a wedding is an incredible honor, but there's more to officiating than just saying, I now pronounce you married. We can help walk you through the entire process of performing a wedding in New Jersey, so you can rest assured you didn't miss anything important. Instructions may vary slightly depending on where you are located, but in general, you can plan to follow these six simple steps. Get ordained online. Review the marriage laws in your area. Get your legal documents. Pick up the marriage license. Perform the wedding. Sign and return the marriage license. By the time you finish this video, you'll know just about everything you need to know to solemnize or legally perform a wedding as a minister of the Universal Life Church. Step 1. Get ordained online. We believe that every person who feels so-called has the right to be a minister, so we developed a process that allows you to get ordained online in just a few minutes. Simply fill out our short online form, hit submit, and your ordination application will be processed instantly. Step 2. Check the marriage laws in your area, but hold your horses. Just because you're a person of the cloth doesn't mean you can start marrying people willy-nilly. There are some important legal things to keep in mind. The rules for officiating a wedding can vary from state to state and even from county to county within a state. This can be complicated, so we strongly recommend you check the New Jersey Wedding Guide on our website to read about the process and learn how to contact county marriage officials to see if you need any documentation in order to perform a wedding. Step 3. Order documents. Any documents you may need are available to order on our website, along with many other materials that may be helpful for the big day. Step 4. Acquire New Jersey Marriage License. This part of the process is the responsibility of the couple. Make sure that before the wedding day they have picked up their marriage license. Without this document, the ceremony won't be official. Step 5. Perform the wedding. Now it's your time to shine. We strongly recommend creating a script in advance of the wedding to ensure you are prepared. Double check that your ceremony script includes the key aspects required to make the ceremony legal. If you need a little bit of inspiration or assistance writing your script, and for more information about the specific words you are often legally required to include, check out the Wedding Training Center on our site to review sample wedding scripts and even play around with our custom wedding script generator. Step 6. Sign and return the marriage license. Once the wedding is over, take a minute to enjoy the moment. Two wonderful people have just embarked on the next exciting journey of their lives, and they chose you to help them do it. But don't start the party yet. You still have a couple more tasks. First, you need to complete the marriage license. You and the couple will both need to sign this legal document, and it will be your job to return it to the office that issued it. Next, sign and deliver to the couple their ULC marriage certificate, a keepsake they can treasure forever. And that's it. With those steps done, you will have successfully performed a wedding. Congratulations.